Hey guys, RJ here. This is going to be a short video showing you the modifications I had to make to my Blast Forge Creator Pro uh, to get it sealed up well enough to be able to use my Carbon HEPA air cleaner. Alright, so quick video. Let's go take a look. <laughs> Okay, so these are the modifications I've made to my Flash Forge Creator Pro in order to get the air scrubber to work. Uh, the first is a replacement top. This is the top from the Maker uh, MakerBot replicator. I have uh, super glued four neodymium magnets, two on each side, to keep the top. Um, down quite well to the uh, the cover down to the top. I have siliconed all the way around the back, the sides, the front, this top seam. I've also filled in the corners with silicone. Um, also, I've put two magnets, again neodymium magnets one on each side of the door and what that does is help keeps that door closed well inside let's see if I can get that picture for you there's one of the corners hopefully you can see that I used uh, a funk what I call funky foam but Basically, it's just like a, a construction foam that's sticky on one side. Uh, and I use that on all four corners where the wires come through. That works pretty good for sealing up those holes. And it's, it's not perfect. It doesn't completely seal it, but it's better than the big holes that are there. I also siliconed along the bottom wall where the wall meets the bottom platform. <clears throat> I'm going to try to pick this up because I also made another modification to the top and you can see it right there I drilled out the the top cover where the frame screws come through just to help it rest flat along the edge I also I'm going to be printing up, let me back this out a little bit. I'm going to be printing some baffles uh, to narrow down this space. Uh, right now it's just tape for testing. The sides where the handles go, the side that has my caddy on it, I just use some black duct tape to seal the wall. And then on the other side is just a handle cover, and you can find on Thingiverse. So let's see if I can get you inside a little closer. That's the hole that you have to cut in the right hand side of the box. <clears throat> as you can see, mine's not perfect, but as long as the front cowl recesses into the hole, you're fine. So the front of the cowl is sticking out just a hair past the back wall. And that's pretty much it. That's what I used, or the, that's the modifications that I used to get the Flash Forge Creator Pro sealed up well enough to use an air scrubber. Okay, so this is what it looks like installed in the printer and running. So you can see it's uh, not too noisy, at least not for me. It wasn't so bad, right? Not too long. So there are the modifications that I had to make to my Creator Pro in order to get it sealed up well enough to create that very slight negative gradient uh, within the build chamber. Uh, you may not have to do as many uh, to your printer. I guess it just depends on the construction. Um, but if you have a Creator Pro, be prepared to replace that top at the very least. So that's it. Um, I need your help though. If you found these videos helpful, would you do me a favor? 
would you subscribe um, like the video and maybe leave a couple words in the comments and maybe share it with your friends it, it helps me know whether to continue making these videos and you know sharing my life with you it's an encouragement uh, to know to keep going okay so anyway take care guys Thank you.